so guys uh, today in this video we'll talk about entropy well entropy is little bit confusing topic for many of the students but i will try to make you understand in very simple way so that you will not have any kind of confusion well doesn't matter in which country you are living you are living if we'll talk about definition of entropy majority of the books saying what is it whether you are studying in uh, physics uh, physics or you are studying in chemistry right because in both the subject i mean both the subject we study entropy in physics as well as in chemistry but uh, here i'm talking about engineering uh, uh, mechanical engineering I'm teaching uh, students of mechanical engineering uh, also chemical students and uh, study this subject that is thermodynamics right so what is the definition of thermodynamics whether you are in school or in college or you are preparing for competitive examination this video is very important for you okay now what is the definition uh, degree it is the degree it is uh, it is the <coughs> measure of degree of randomness or disorder now this definition itself little bit confusing right what is degree of randomness or disorder what is the meaning of this let me make you understand it is talking about molecular level things right if anything is in disorder that is what entropy right but it is basically relating with energy not anybody anything else right it is relating with energy only this entropy is related to energy and what type of energy it is talking about it is talking about thermal energy it is talking about thermal energy so another definition i will share with you and this definition will make you understand right right away so you can say that it is a measure uh, measure of measure of of systems systems thermal energy systems thermal energy per unit temperature which is not available not available for doing useful work for doing useful work this is what my dear the real definition and generally we do not study this definition for the case of entropy if we wanted to write this definition in mathematical form what we can write basically dq by t and this dq by t is known as what thermodynamic property right thermo dynamic property but for what type of system this property basically for closed system not for open system remember this for all closed system and this thermodynamic property is known as what entropy because we know what we write basically dq by t is equal to s and this is what my dear this is the mathematical relation for entropy i hope you understand the whole definition and the mathematical relation so here i would like to share with you few key points so that if you are preparing for complete examination uh, you can easily solve the numerical i hope so you can see uh, you can see here right uh, you can see here right so point one after studying first law of thermodynamics we apply first law of thermodynamics to what thermodynamic processes then we got uh, 
the concept that is what another extensive property that is what internal energy that is denoted by u right we know that dq is equal to du plus dw somewhere it is also written like this q is equal to du plus w both are right nothing is wrong now after studying second law of thermodynamics we apply second law of thermodynamics in practical processes remember this practical processes means real processes there we got the concept of extensive property that is what entropy that is why generally we study entropy after studying second law of thermodynamics now let me tell you few interesting few more interesting facts what is the unit of entropy uh, unit of entropy that is joule per kelvin this is heat energy joule and temperature si unit kelvin so joule per kelvin is the si unit of entropy now very important fact two facts not two i will share three facts regarding entropy for a system for a system right change in entropy the value of change in entropy can be positive or even negative or even zero first second for a reversible process entropy either will it will increase right or it will remains constant it will be positive change in entropy it will be positive or zero not negative for the case of reversible process now third point it is very important for a for an isolated system entropy never decreases remember this never for an isolated system isolated system isolated system entropy cannot be cannot be uh, cannot be less than zero right change in, change in entropy i must say that because entropy never decreases so it can be zero it can be zero it can be more than uh, i mean it can it can have positive value but never be less than zero which is impossible that is why we got two another important things what clausius inequality dq by t less than equal to zero for a closed system obviously you should have to use this sign less than zero means what uh, uh, irreversible process is equal to zero reversible process greater than zero impossible for the case of ds greater than equal to zero is equal to zero reversible greater than zero irreversible less than zero impossible so it is what my dear impossible basically in the case of entropy right for an isolated system what i am talking about so these facts are really important in order to understand the basic concept of entropy while if you are uh, if you are preparing for complete examination you must solve numerical problem one very good important tip i would like to share with you that is what if you are preparing for complete examination don't try to remember formulas rather try to solve numerical problems if you will solve numerical problems couple of times the formula will automatically remember by you because you will apply that formula in practical application this is the real experience what i'm sharing with you right now this will definitely help you a lot well thank you very much for watching this video like share comment if you haven't subscribed to this channel do subscribe thank you very much see you soon in my next video bye bye